Hola amiga. Hola amigo. ¿Cómo estás? ¿Cómo estás? Yo muy bien, gracias. Yo muy bien, gracias. ¿Y, ¿Y tú, tú qué tal? ¿Y tú, tú qué tal? Hello, friends. Welcome. I'm Maricela from EBPL Central. Y yo soy Pepi del Reading Room. Bienvenido a la hora del cuento. Mejor te lo explico con una canción. You want to tell me the story with a song? Sure. Go for it. Tres chanquitos brincando en la cama. Three little monkeys were jumping on the bed. Y uno cayó al piso y la cabeza se golpeó. One fell off and bumped his head. Uno cayó al piso y la cabeza se golpeó. Oh, my. Mamá llamó al doctor y el doctor le dijo, No más changuitos brincando en la cama. Mother called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. No machanguitos brincando en la cama. No more monkeys jumping on the bed. <laughs> Boy, mm. friend, you really have a great sense of humor. Gracias. Pero es que cuando canto me hace sentir más contento. <laughs> really? Singing makes you feel better. <laughs> well, I guess it would make me feel better. What makes you feel better, boys and girls? Well, my friend, I'm going to read you a book <laughs> to make you feel better. Mm, yuppie, yuppie, yuppie. <laughs> I've chosen a book about a very famous woman in history, Frida Kahlo. Oh, ¿y por qué famosa Frida Kahlo? Well, Frida Kahlo's famous because, well, she was a painter and She had a very unique style of painting. Oh. Well, I'll show you a picture of her. This is a book we have at EBPL. And, well, I kind of uh, comb my hair like her, just to celebrate. Oh, ¿Sí te parece mucho? You mm -hmm. think so? It looks like Fida's hairdo. What do you think, boys and girls? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And. You know, Frida Kahlo has paintings all over the world in many museums. Oh, esa es mi favorita. Why? Why do you like that one? Porque se parece un poquito a mis hermanitos y a mí. <laughs> you know, it's right. They do look a little bit like your brothers. Hey, how about if we start reading our book? Yeah, sí, 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 sale. Frida, written by... Escrito por... Jonah Winter... And illustrated by e ilustrado por Anna Juan. For little Frida, her world is Mexico. Para la pequeña Frida, el mundo es México. Her house is blue. It's in the little town of Coyoacán. Su casa es azul. Está en el pueblo de Coyoacán. Frida's dad is a painter and a photographer. El papá de Frida es pintor y fotógrafo. He shows her how to use a paintbrush. Él enseña a usar el pincel. Frida's mom has to take care of her six daughters. She frequently feels tired. La mamá de Frida tiene que cuidar a sus seis hijas. 
con frecuencia se siente cansada. Even though she has many sisters, many times Frida feels lonely. Aunque tiene hermanas, muchas veces Frida se siente sola. Frida has an imaginary friend that's also called Frida. Frida tiene una amiga imaginaria que también se llama Frida. They play together. Juegan juntas. One day, Frida gets sick. She has to stay in bed for months. Something happens to one of her legs. Not even her imaginary friend can cheer her up. Ay, un día Frida se enferma. Tiene que guardar cama durante meses. Algo le pasa a sus piernas. Ni siquiera su amiga imaginaria la puede alegrar. During this time, Frida learns to draw by herself. When she draws, she doesn't feel sad. Durante este tiempo, Frida aprende a dibujar por sí misma. Cuando dibuja, no se siente triste. When she recuperates, she wants to be an artist. She paints little portraits that are copies of other portraits. Cuando se recupera, quiere ser artista. Pinta pequeños cuadros que son copias de otros cuadros. Frida's father colors photographs for a living, and he shows Frida how. El papá de Frida se dedica a colorear fotografías y le enseña a Frida cómo hacerlo. Frida also paints what she sees through the microscope. She loves seeing everything close up. Frida también pinta lo que ve a través del microscopio. Le encanta verlo todo muy de cerca. Frida studies science in school, but classes are too easy for her, so she gets bored. Frida estudia ciencias en el colegio, pero se aburre. Las clases le resultan muy fáciles. One day while returning home in the bus, un día al regresar a casa en el autobús, a horrible accident occurs. Ocurre un horrible accidente. A trolley crashes into the bus and Frida almost dies. Un tranvía choca contra el autobús y Frida casi se muere. Mm. Mm. In the hospital, drawing is what saves her again. Drawing is like having an imaginary friend. She's there when she wants her. She keeps her company and gives her strength so as not to lose hope. En el hospital, dibujar es lo que la salva una vez más. Dibujar es como tener una amiga imaginaria. Está presente cada vez que ella quiere, le hace compañía y le da fuerzas para no perder la esperanza. After the accident, life is not the same for Frida. She walks with a cane when she can walk. She feels pain in her entire body. Después del accidente, la vida no es igual para Frida. Camina con un bastón cuando puede hacerlo. Siempre siente dolores en todo el cuerpo. Ay. Mm. But Frida never complains or cries. Instead of crying, she paints herself crying. Pero Frida no se queja ni llora. En lugar de llorar, se dibuja llorando. Oh. When she can't get up, she paints from the bed. When her torso is put into a cast, she paints on the cast. Cuando no se puede levantar, pinta en la cama. Cuando le enyezan el torso, pinta en el yeso. <laughs> Nothing stops Frida from painting. Since she is at home alone for such a long time, she has to use her imagination. Nada puede hacer que Frida deje de pintar. Como está tanto tiempo sola en casa, tiene que usar su imaginación. She paints what her eyes see and what her heart feels. It is almost like coloring photographs. Pinta lo que ven sus ojos y lo que siente su corazón. 
es casi como colorear fotografías. She paints small magical scenes with a written explanation. In Mexico, it is common to see these kinds of drawings. They sometimes represent scenes from accidents with angels that come to the rescue. They are like prayers for the sick or people with problems. They are called exvotos. Frida paints exvotos of her when she is sick or she feels pain. Oh, Pinta pequeñas escenas mágicas con una explicación escrita. En México es común ver esta clase de dibujos. A veces representan escenas de accidentes con ángeles que vienen al rescate. Son como oraciones por las personas enfermas y con problemas. Se llaman exfotos. Frida pinta exfotos de su propia imagen cuando está enferma o cuando siente dolor. Frida doesn't copy anyone's style. Her paintings are unique. In museums, when people see her paintings, they cry, they sigh, or smile. That's because Frida converts her pain into something marvelous. It's like a miracle. Frida no imita el estilo de nadie. En sus pinturas son únicas. En los museos, cuando las personas ven sus cuadros, se echan a llorar. Suspiran o sonríen. Y es que Frida convierte su dolor en algo maravilloso. Es como un milagro. Hooray for Frida! Long live Frida! ¡Viva Frida! ¡Viva Frida siempre! ¡Ay, qué diferente! Pintarse llorando cuando se sentía muy triste. That's right. That was very unique, her painting herself sad, crying when she was sad. Hmm. Mm, yo lo voy a hacer también. Really? You're going to paint when you feel sad? Hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll try it too. Okay. And boys and girls, there's a, a little note here from the author. And it tells you uh, when Frida was born and... Uh, who she married. She actually married a very famous painter. In fact, he was even more famous than her when they were married. It's later when she passed away, when she died, that she even became more famous. Oh, mm -hmm. Frida's husband's name was Diego Rivera. Oh, y era bien famoso, Diego Rivera, ¿verdad? Yes, that's right. Diego R Rivera, the muralist. Um, ¿Qué es un muralista? <laughs> well, a muralist is a, a painter that paints big, big paintings on buildings, on walls. In fact, Diego Rivera's paintings are, well, all over the world. Actually, there are several in the U.S. Oh, Mm -hmm. And they're very famous still. He's considered to be one of the three greats. Los tres grandes. That's right. And you can learn more about Diego and the three greats at our library. And check out one of the books. Me gustó mucho ese libro. Ya me siento muy contento. I'm glad you're feeling very happy. I'm glad. Anytime you're sad, my friend, come on over and I'll read a book for you. Mm -hmm. Gracias. Mi mami también nos lee muchos libros. <laughs> she does? Mm -hmm. Wow, that's great. to kindergarten, you will be well prepared, my friend. <laughs> oh, and by the way, I have a take and make for you that I got from the library. 
I got one for myself too and I made it. I'll show you boys and girls. Yippee, yippee, yippee. Here it is. You know, every month, the library has a take and make. Todos los meses, la biblioteca tiene un take and make. Tómalo y construyelo. And this month, the bag had something to make. Oh, <laughs> A Frida Kahlo drawing, painting, and even the flowers. Ay, ya lo quiero hacer. Me trajiste uno, ¿verdad? Sure, and it's got everything you'll need in it. ¿Qué emoción lo podemos hacer juntos, Lorita? Sure, we can make it together. But, you know, we've got to say goodbye to our friends first. Okay. Adios, amigos. Adios, amigas. Yo ya me voy. Ya te no. Adiós y hasta luego. Adiós y hasta luego. Yo ya me voy. Ya terminó. Adiós, amigos. Adiós, amigas.